Okay, we're following up that last video where I talked about back azimuth and adding angles. Uh, we're going to go ahead and draft 4-3. It'll be relatively quickly this time. Um, trying to get you into the kind of role of where the setups are. If the setups are done, a lot of the work I'm doing here in the original part is just setups. As I look to this file here, you see that I don't have the right layers on it because I haven't done what we're supposed to do, which is file, new, and at home again each time I've got to think to go back to the right spot it's in the K drive and it is in the decimal okay now I now have the right base drawing remember this comes up we'll be looking at the paper soon you ignore your references you're gonna to go to the model here you're in the model space right away you might start to think well let me make sure everything's on Oh, that's not on. And let me double click on what the layer I want to be on. So I'm double clicking on the view layer. That's another way to change the current layer. You've got that box bigger than what you want, but you might still want to delete it out and get used to, of course, we're going to do another 20 by 20 box. So we might want to do a line here. Click the ortho is on, so I can just move my mouse over and type 20. Hit an escape bar, wheel out a little bit. O for offset, 20 for a distance, left select, and go up there, hit an escape bar, line from the shift right click, end point from there, shift right click, the end point, and I am going to try to learn to develop the habit to draw lines positively, so positive Y, positive X, and then again, O for offset, T for through, select that object here, shift right click through the midpoint, uh, shift right shift right click through the end point and I really don't want that midpoint so I can just go through in select it and then hit the delete key now I'm gonna generally kind of kind of eye up where I'm gonna start and it might be wrong but I'm gonna go ahead and draw a line now with the ortho on that's the correct distance a B which is 2.85 you wouldn't necessarily do this but I'm gonna take a line here and draw it off there Taking my hand off the mouse, my ortho is on 2.85. Now those of you who've learned to use polar snaps, you have to realize here that polar snaps are not going to help you in a drawing like this because all the angles are odd. And in fact, I want to probably right away take that, left click it, then either use the properties or go and bring it to the right layer, object here. And now, in this case, we want something that's actually 37 degrees negative from that. So I'm going to go left click, left click, space bar, space bar. And I could say C for copy, but I don't even want to copy this one. I just want to give it an angle of minus 37. And I have the starting point there. Remember and review that's very important now that you have your dynamic set setting set right. So if you do shift right click, object snap settings, you want to double check and these not should not change. The dynamic input settings is set with one dimension only. You want to make sure that your dynamic is off for the next part where we're going to left click. Left click, space bar spacebar C for copy you're turning 85 degrees positively you finish your command then you turn on your dynamic you left click you left click again on the end and you change the length from BC to 3.09 escape out and you're ready to go again now you turn on off the dynamic so it doesn't confuse you left click left click space bar space bar C for copy you're changing 58 degrees you turn back on your dynamic or or you could just type in L E N for lengthen T O for total and give it the total length of C D of 1.93 and then you grab the end you want to shorten up and you see that so lengthen is also a way to do it so I now I'm gonna left click again left click 
space bar, space bar, C for copy. And this time I'm going a minus 88 degrees. Or at this point, you could draw a circle, D, E, eight point. Two, one. And that really is how I generally draft, even though it's sometimes a little slower. You're thinking about the geometry then from the end point there with a radius of 8.21. And at this point, you can learn to use the extend. Extend, screw that, and push it out. And then grab your circle and erase with the delete key or whatever you're going to do. You then have to left click, left click, space bar, space bar, C for copy, and the next distance EF is 5.53. I'm sorry, I don't want the distance. I want, and if you notice there, I used a visual clue. I went through and I use the 5.53 when I wanted to do a, a turned angle. So I just can go ahead and usually get used to taking something and deleting it or using the undo. I'll try it again. I left click. I left click on the end. Space bar, space bar, C for copy, and I'm going to copy positively 95 degrees. I can turn on my dynamic again. Remember, that's probably the most efficient way you left click, you left click, it goes to there, and you want that length to be 5.53. And if you notice there, because I, the way I grabbed, I didn't grab correctly. I didn't left click the correct thing, so I'm going to do an undo here. You have to use your visual clues. Undo. Let me try that again. I left click. Left click here. And I wanted that to be 5.53. Now I left click, left click over the top. But again, as that dynamic is on, it's going to throw you, I believe. So I'm going to escape out, turn off the dynamic, and do it again. Left click, left click, space bar, space bar, C for copy. You're turning positively 52 degrees. And in this case now, it's quite a nice thing to um, sometimes use the circle to extend or just once again, turn on the dynamic, left click, left click, it jumps to there, GF is 6.35. And then finally you can do a line from the end point there to the you know, notice the ortho. The ortho was turned on and off by F8. So I just turned it off, shift right click to the end point there, and we have our piece done. Though once again, that's on the wrong layer. So if I want to go ahead and grab this, I can go ahead and just pull it down and put it on the correct layer. And somehow my layer got set to view, so I'm going to go ahead and change my current layer to object. Don't let that throw you. And finally, we've talked about it once, twice, three times, but never enough, the idea of how you put things together. And so in this case, you put things together to start by the command PE, polyline edit. And I'm going to show you how that looks now in the with the dynamic mode on. So I'm going to type in PE, polyline edit. I'm going to select any one of these maybe the first one because it got the direction from the first one and you can notice here it gives you an option Do you want to turn it into one yes and then you have your option right there I'm pulling down hitting a return bar and then I can select one object or I can just grab them all spacebar spacebar now when I grab it you see that it has all of the it's one entity now, what's great about with the dynamic on, if I do that and left click or just hover my mouse over any one of those points, that's what you get. Thanks for listening.